Hey, how's it going? Chad Steve here. Today I'm going to show you what I just hold in the month of February. In no particular order, I hold Yu-Gi-Oh! Volumes 10, 11, and 12. And this is actually the fourth Omnibus volume from Booktopia. I ordered this from Booktopia back in January till it arrived in February. And I actually thought it's going to be arriving at my place in March, but instead it came in February. So, yeah. Happy with the fourth Anonymous volume, and it counts as three volumes instead of one volume. At QBD, I hold the Promised Neverland Volume 1, and I got my eyes peeled for that one because it looks kind of promising. Ayashi Mon, whichever you pronounce it, I'll let you know what it's called because I have a disability. The first volume of this one. I need to know how am I supposed to pronounce it properly. I apologize for that. Demon Slayer Kimitsu Academy Volume 1. I love the Demon Slayer series. Well, mostly the manga. I um, read, well, just the manga I read, but I haven't watched the anime. I'll have to watch it on Crunchyroll if there is. And The Man DeLorean Volume 1. And I got this during Leap Year. And speaking of Leap Year, I also picked up a Groudon model. I haven't built, I haven't started building, I haven't started building yet because, well, I'll have to start building a Groudon whenever I get a chance. Like, I don't know, um, if I want to or whatnot, because I never owned any of these before. And that's not it, because I was here, picked up a Pikachu sleeping model kit. Well, actually, Pikachu's not actually sleeping, it's actually sitting there. And I too haven't started building a Pikachu just yet, so hopefully I'll give it a, hopefully I'll, um, you know, I'll just try to start building it whenever I get a chance. I got those from Eevee Games, and I go over to Zing to pick up a Piplup Sleeping Mug. Reminds me if I actually do want to go to sleep instead of going to work. I want sleep! <laughs> I'm not much of a Pokemon card collector or anything to do with training cards, and there were some photos of it. I picked up a Scarlet Violet booster pack for free because I spent over 50 bucks on what I just picked up at EB Games, and of course, a uh, EB exclusive promo card for Pokemon Day. And I did not get a Pokemon Charizard um, EB World card, but that's okay because, well, I'm actually happy with the birthday level 4 EV world card so yeah but it's always next year unless there's another one like Mario or Sonic or whatnot so yeah so yeah I'm not much of a Pokemon card collector or anything to do with training cards so you can check out one of my short videos over at Amazon I got Stone Ocean Volume 1 and I pre-ordered this back in November of 2023 till it finally arrived on my door in well, February this year, and I haven't even watched the anime because I'm no longer subscribed to Netflix, so... But yeah, I'm slowly collecting the Stone Ocean ones. I need to pre-order more volumes at Amazon, and only Amazon, before, so I can get into, well, this one. And of course, I'm not ready to watch the anime because I'm no longer subscribed to Netflix, so I'm a bit concerned that it doesn't have like a free trial like it used to, so... Yeah. But yeah, I'm slowly collecting... Stone Ocean volumes from Viz Media. I got the third and fourth volumes of Bungo Stray Dogs and I don't know how long we're gonna wait for Amazon to restock volume 5 because I want volume 5 at this stage because I can't get to volume 6 and 7 just yet. Even though I have watched the anime, I need to read volume 5 of Bungo Stray Dogs first. Why right after I read these? Hurry up, Amazon! The first volume of Go Go Loser Ranger. Now, I did say I'm not going to buy any more books like fiction, non fiction, but I kind of broke a cycle, even though <laughs> I still got other books on my TBR that I'm yet to read. So, I got Return of the Jedi from the same point of view from Amazon. I don't know what's with the um, lines or something. I You can't see, I really do apologize for that. But yeah, um, I'm actually happy with this copy and since I, I like Star Wars, I love collecting books and games and uh, movies and whatnot. But it's mostly the book, it's a 
and uh, so yeah. But yeah, I actually broke the cycle of not buying more fiction, non-fiction books until I finished reading what I've got on my TBR. But yeah, um, Return of the Jedi might be not much of a good movie, but I actually do like the um, um, what's in the movie. I'm not going to spoil anything about it because you need to watch it. But yeah, I'm actually happy with this copy, and I do have this one and this one. So yeah, so I do have two, from a certain point of view, um, books. We'd love to see a Phantom Menace return, sorry, we'd love to see a Phantom Menace from a certain point of view um, novel for its 25th anniversary. I'd love to see the Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith from a certain point of view novels probably about in the future if there is. At Big W I picked up Taming Toxic People because at home there are some like people who are being toxic and sometimes work gets a bit toxic so even those creepy disability employment consultants are being like toxic most of the time and, and it's really annoying so yeah I'm looking forward to see what this is about so I can learn how to tame toxic people. I downloaded an audiobook of Kill Your Husbands on Audible but I decided to pick up a physical copy of Kill Your Husbands by Jack Heath. And I got this from Big W, as well as this one. For Valentine's Day, I gifted myself two volumes of Avatar, Book 1 Water, as Valentine's gifts to myself, because I'm single and I'm happy to be single. Doesn't mean I can't give myself anything for Valentine's, as well as birthdays and Christmas, so can't go wrong gifting yourself for Valentine's Day. And finally, I downloaded two Yu-Gi-Oh games on PS5, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Collection containing Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, 2, and 3 on my PS5. So before I wrap this up, I want to send a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel, who supported me on YouTube since I created the Google account in 2020. I got nothing to post during that time till I decided to post some shorts and some videos of seasons where you could see this crappy face. Um, and yeah, and some gameplay footage too from my PlayStation and my Xbox, like Killing Instinct and JoJo and Dragon Ball and whatnot. So, I want to send a huge thank you to you guys for supporting me on YouTube. Okay, now it's time to wrap it up. What would you pick up in the month of February? Let me know down in the comments below. You may as well have got nothing to say. Just leave a knife emoji or a butterfly emoji, or you might want to leave a jail emoji if there is a jail emoji. You can hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell to be notified, give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, and Letterboxd, and thanks for watching.